Here we go. Let's see, Julie, do we have you? Hello, <laughs> Hi, Julie, you? how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm very good. Where are you calling from? Cardiff. Cardiff. Well, we have we have one of your countrymen on in a minute. We have Griff Russ on in a minute. Griff, oh, really? Griff. How do I pronounce that? Am I doing it right, Griff Russ? I have no idea, you know. I'm not Welsh. I just live here. Ah, oh, you're not Welsh. <laughs> oh. Griff Rees, I believe. Griff Rees. Yeah. Griff Rees. Okay. Griff Rees. We roll it like that. Everything sounds very rounded. It's, but it's, a, but it's a very pleasant way, a way of speaking, isn't it? The, sort of when you have that Welsh accent. <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. And, unless they refuse to speak English when you're stood behind them in a post office queue and they and they insist on being served by somebody who speaks Welsh. Well, you know, that, that, And that is their prerogative. Exactly. I'm all for it. I, yes. I am fluent in the Welsh yeah. tongue. My fault. I live here. Pobble Quim. Yeah, uh, but well, uh, well, congratulations. I have no idea what that means, but I remember seeing it in the TV listings for many years in the 70s. You have to speak to Miss Bowles about that. <laughs> we'll have a word. Um, are you a big soul fan? Yeah, but older soul, you know me. I'm northern soul. Yeah, yeah. What about, let, let's ask Griff. Griff Reese is with us from the Super Furry Animals. Griff, are you a soul fan? Uh, aye. Uh, you're a soulful kind of guy, though, I can tell I from your sideburns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, You've got the sideburns of a troubadour, if you don't mind me saying so. Oh, uh, thank you very much. It might be because you're sitting there with a the guitar. Um, before, you're going to play for us live in just a minute, hopefully. I think, well, we, do you want us to play a track first so you can just get the sounds off? Ah, go on then, aye. Okay. Um, what are you going to play for us today, though? Um, I'm going to play a song called Fragile Happiness of the album, but I'm afraid it's over two minutes long. Well, that's okay. I'll make an exception for you because you're playing live and you don't have a band with you. Okay, it's not a single or anything. But you know what I'm saying about that long single deal, don't you? Ah, uh, totally. We've had, I think we've had two hits in the two minutes. Yeah, well, that's good. You <laughs> see, that's to be encouraged. Aye. Maybe I'm being too stern. Maybe three minutes will be mm. there. You know, it's like when movies drag on for too long. And don't you think sometimes this is just self-indulgence? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I... <laughs> you don't have to uh... enter this, don't worry. It's <laughs> fine. Uh, you know, I, I know you're, you're worried now that you're going to get tied down to something here and people are going to say, he said he'd keep him under two minutes and now he's broken his <laughs> Um, it, we were debating your name earlier because um, we weren't sure how to pronounce it and we wanted to be, you know, we wanted to be sensitive to that because I realise you, you guys are quite fiercely proud of your Welsh roots, aren't you? Um, we'd be proud of being anything. Mm. We happen to be Welsh. You know? Yeah, but, uh, but uh, to the extent where, you know, the Welsh language issue, which we kind of talked earlier on, we had mm. a woman on the phone from Cardiff. Uh, I think, was that Joy? It was, you know, it was Julie, Julie. from Cardiff. Um, but I noticed, I didn't realise you'd had bands which were, there's a band called Fat Coffee Pob, is that right? Almost. How uh, do you pronounce that? Um, you don't really want me to pronounce it on radio. Come on, what, what, what is it? Is it a rude word? Yes. I didn't realise that. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I apologise. Uh, what about the techno, Welsh techno underground band you're in, Anherton? Uh, no, that was a, a punk band we went in that, um... How do you pronounce Andrema, that? Anherton, wasn't it, actually? Um, they were a hardcore punk band, uh, Anherton. Anherton. And what does that mean? Disorder. Disorder. Right. See, it's a, it's a great language. Mm. If, uh, you know, <laughs> if uh, funny you work out which words are swear words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and what does Pobble Quim mean? Uh, that was like a daytime soap, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been going for. A it's like, long was it time. people come or something like that? Um, yeah, I mean the actual meaning is quite bland. Griff, can I just do, do you speak Welsh? Or are you just faking this? Because I, I get the feeling you're you're I'm being actually, deliberately evasive here. Yeah, I'm actually <laughs> French. You don't. It's mean... just a good career move. I understand what's going on here because yeah. he doesn't want to be known just for his Welshness. No. Like, if we had Graham Norton on, we wouldn't just talk about gay issues, would no. we? No. You know, people don't <laughs> want to be defined just by the one thing. No, he's known for his, his music. Of course he is, but I was just, I'm curious, I'm always keen to learn. Yes. I, and I, I figured maybe the Welsh wasn't beyond You've got like a big no, stick and you're poking him. I was brought up speaking Welsh. Yeah. So. And do your family, do they, when you're alone together with your family, do you mainly speak Welsh? Is that the first language at home? Absolutely. And in the band as well. And, you know, with my girlfriend and whatever. Is it still, I mean, how popular, I mean, how kind of, like, widespread is the Welsh language then it was? Because I had the feeling that it was slowly dying out. Um, it's, I mean, it's very tough because there's a lot of social problems intertwined with the language issues, you know, and, yeah. um, but it's around a fifth of the population that but, still speak Welsh. You know, obviously I'm not saying something you would disagree with, but it would be such a tremendous shame if it doesn't, if it isn't given a spark and, and kept going, because it's such a wonderful thing to have, a, you know, another language. Absolutely. It needs a, it's not, still not an official language within Wales, even. It needs a, a proper Welsh language act. Well, let's see. Let's yeah. get our way behind it. Absolutely. I'll, I'll be there for you, OK? Thanks. I can't help but think I would damage the calls. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I would very gladly sign any petition you care to bring in next time you come in. OK. All right, Griff, we're going to play a track and we'll let you warm up and get ready for the singer now, if that's OK. What are we going to play in the, in the meantime? Uh, we're going to play a track that's out on Monday, re-released uh, for charity, and it's uh, the late, great George Harrison. OK. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, you can't beat a bit of George Harrison. God bless him. Uh, we've got uh, Griff Lee released from uh, Super Furry Animals. With us. He's going to play live right now. The, uh, the the single we played a little bit earlier on is called It's Not the End of the World. That's out. Is it out now, Andy? It's out on Monday. It's terrific. It's a fantastic album, of course. The album was um, Rings Around the World. Yes. We've played it quite a lot, haven't we? Not the yeah. whole album. I mean, I've played the whole album. Yeah, we played uh, all the singles. So but just chatting to Griff, I didn't realise it had come out on DVD. Yeah. And you get a huge number of other features on it. Oh, I, How yeah. many films are there on there? 18 films. Oh, that's unbelievable. And 16 remixes. And um, it's held together by um, 40 wormholes. So you have to travel through these wormholes. And you get a piece of music and all that. Maybe I'll stick to the CD <laughs> version, I, you know. Maybe, I, maybe I'm not ready for that yet, you know. It's th that's for the youngsters. <laughs> Wow, not just a great sound, but also hats off for the whistling at the end there. <laughs> that takes a degree of courage that we don't normally see. Uh, it's hit and miss, really. Yeah, I bet it is, but well done. Uh, I was surprised you just went into it like that. I thought there'd be someone coming in to whistle with you. That's fairly short as well. I don't know how long it was, but... Um, it sounded it was, great. It was fantastic. And uh, where are the rest of the band today? Um, probably in bed. All in bed. Yeah, will, will they be listening in, or...? Um, would you like to give them a big shout-out, as they say? Well, a big shout going out. How do you uh, pronounce it? It's a, it's a Daffid... David. Sean. Kian. Kian. Guto. Gitter. He's got a German or something. That sounds like a German name. No, Gitter. It's another form of Griff, actually. Oh, okay. And, and Hugh. Hugh. Yeah. yeah. Wow. All yeah. listen at home. Aye. We hope so. Aye. It's, it's a long shot. But, who, who, who does the whistling when you're on stage? Do you do that? I try to, yeah. It's, it's pretty tough, you know, battling over those loud guitars. That means you're a multi instrumentalist, you know that, don't you? <laughs> 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 hey, thanks for coming in. We're big fans of the band. I mean, really, uh, I know you're going to the States later this year. Uh, yes. So good luck there. I hope it, it works well for you. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming in. Cheers.